Professor. So good to see you. I am so worried. I don't know what to do. Worried? <laughs> I thought you'd be happy since your son will be home again. Of course I am happy. I've heard the news that the real thief was found with your help. And no one doubts Francisco's innocence anymore. They will send my son home. Perhaps any moment now. So what's worrying you? Exactly that. What if he comes home? But that was your greatest wish. What if he comes home and that precious game board is missing? I beg your pardon? Yes, yes. You know my son sent a message that once he gets out, he will definitely need the board his father hid so well back in the old days. It's an exquisite, precious box. The work of the Blade Master, and part of age-old family tradition. I always respected the piece, although I am uncertain of exactly what kind of tradition it comes from. That has always been only the men's business. But you know, Professor, need is often stronger than tradition. The house was so damaged during the winter, I had to renovate some parts of it. My poor son Francisco was working day and night, but the money he made was only enough to make a living. Then I made a decision. I searched for that beautiful old box and pawned it. You pawned the Alquerque board? And of course Francisco knew nothing about it. That's right. It happened in secret. I told him I put together all my savings and used it to pay for the roof. And can you get it back now? Who did you sell it to? That corrupt Ariaga. Ariaga? I say, I have a bad feeling about this. Well, yes, buying it back is not the problem. I managed to borrow some money from a relative in the afternoon, so I have the money, but... but there's no one to sell the box back to me. Because Ariaga has been arrested? Come, that can't be a problem. Right, that wouldn't be a problem, but Pablo Ariaga has not been arrested. Did he escape? Madam Isabel, can you tell me what happened? Of course. It started out when the inspectors arrived from Madrid. Dear Carmen brought in the thief's picture just in time. If the inspectors hadn't been there, that Reyoyos would still be wondering what to do. They headed immediately for the antique shop. This criminal, however, must have sensed something, because he packed up a bag full of expensive goods from his shop at the last second, including our precious game box, and got away. He simply knocked out Gaspar, his apprentice, so there would be no one to witness his escape. And the police couldn't catch him. Is there a back door to the house? There is a back door, and of course a police officer was posted there, but no one saw Ariaga leave. He simply disappeared. Disappeared? Disappeared. They searched the whole house and found no trace. Gaspar is a big, strong man and recovered quickly from the blow, and he saw his boss escaping towards the courtyard with the fountain. What did you say? Is there a courtyard with a fountain in Ariaga's house? And does he happen to have a parrot? He does. Ricardo. Or rather, he used to have one. He used to keep it in the shop, but I haven't heard its voice for a while. Maybe it has died since. No. I believe that bird is very much alive. And how about Francisco, Madame Isabel? The inspector promised he would be released, but the police are keeping him while Gaspar and the maids are questioned. Carmen is with him. They will soon come home. And then, what happens when he finds out the game board is missing? Well, that game board is really important. It is more precious than you know, Isabel, and not only for your son. Do you have any idea how to find it, Professor Hunt? You are such a clever man. I do. I really must figure out a clever way. I do have a hunch, but I will need some tools. Look, here, take this key. It's the key to my husband Smith's workshop. You may go in freely and find a suitable tool for yourself. 
There are all kinds of tools there. It may help. Oh, thank you. It may help indeed. Let's go. Rest assured, madam, I'll do what I can. Thank you.